Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have the African wood sorrel or Bermuda buttercup. Don't know why it's called Bermuda buttercup. It comes from Africa, well, from South Africa. Here I'm not exactly in South Africa, I'm on the island of Tenerife, where it's invasive. Like, yeah, like in most tropical and subtropical areas of the world. For example, in Malta, which is a subtropical Mediterranean island, basically without frost, this is the most hated invasive plant. Here in the Canary Islands it's also quite invasive, however here in this area I'm seeing only one plant, so it must have been recently introduced. I think I'll destroy this thoroughly in order to prevent spreading. Okay, after I eat it of course. Well, somebody, a guy with a Dixieland name, suggested that wood sorrel is a plant with nice edible flowers. Yes, that's true. Wood sorrel is a nice tasty plant. And Oxalis pes capre from South Africa is a particularly big wood sorrel. Actually, they are wood sorrel species which are used as a staple crop in some parts of the world. Not so much the flowers. Actually, all parts of the plant are edible. I don't know about the fruit because I've never seen a plant with a well-developed fruit. As far as I know, in Malta, all the plants were male or something like that, so they did not produce fruit. This one didn't produce fruit either. Well, it's the only plant I can see around here. This could be a reason or it could be that the plants in the Canary Islands also don't produce fruit. Well, they spread vegetatively. So basically, they are present almost everywhere in the Canary Islands. Here in the north, they are flowering nicely right now because as you can see it's green, it's late winter, lots of rain. In the south I couldn't find very nice one, that's why I came to the north to do this video. Well, what can you eat about wood sorrel? The name sorrel suggests that it's sour. Well, the Latin name oxalis suggests that the sourness comes from oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is quite tasty. You can eat every pub. The flowers, the stalks. Oh, somebody wanted me to film myself when I'm eating. I hope this is on focus now. The flowers, the stalks, the leaves. <coughs> everything is edible, but everything is producing, well, everything is containing oxalic acid. So it's very nice to use in salad, soups and other dishes, but it can be damaging in huge amounts because you will get kidney stones. There are probably hundreds of wood sorrel species around the world. And yeah, this was introduced as an ornamental to most plant parts of the world, probably or ornamental people wanted to nibble on, and then became invasive pretty much everywhere where it's tropical and subtropical. On the Canary Islands it grows in frost-free coastal areas, it grows quite far up into the mountains, I guess even up to the areas where there is some frost. It grows in the, in the moist north, it grows in the dry south. Why is it so adaptable? Well, let's hope we're gonna get something. Uh, oh yeah, we got something. Well, here is one secret to the here is one secret uh, to the African wood sorrel success. Those bulbs, or yeah, some some even call them some even call them um, basically yeah cloves or onions because they are kind of they have a sheet. Oh, I lost them! I lost them! Where are they? They have a sheet of leaves around them. Actually, I knew someone who wanted to do his PhD about this question. Oh my god, I lost one of them. I managed to retrieve one, but I lost the other one. Well, so now I'm left with one bulb. Hmm. Okay, there is not much inside. So the old one is kind of almost gone and here is a new one forming even inside the sheet of old leaves 
actually in summer those are quite big and edible yeah now it's quite small uh, those bulbs or tubers or whatever they are they are they get quite big like in this species they get about as big as almonds and if you plow a field in summer or a meadow where they grow you will see millions of them so they are quite easy to collect they are not sour at all but they are very starchy they taste yeah like like a, what was it like a ground nut like this grass like um, okay couldn't get any more of them they taste like this uh, super species which is um, also used as a nut well it's not a nut it's also a bulb quite starchy and nice actually there is a bigger species of oxalis they produced tubers or rhizomes which are like little potatoes and they are staple in an area of the world and as I said they are not sour at all they are starchy so in summer you can actually collect a lot of nice starchy little tubers out of a meadow covered with those things which fortunately we don't have here yet very useful plant very tasty but be careful with the oxalic acid be careful not to get kidney stones if you eat it too much tell me if you are eating if you are eating sorrel or wood sorrel in your area or if you're maybe even in an area which eats wood sorrel bulbs or rhizomes I would be very interested in that. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot of fruit videos, for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and sometimes slightly cloudy island of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.